time for this week's episode of the Diversity Debrief. I had the opportunity to sit down with Giselle Cavari, the founder and managing partner of NGen People Performance, to talk about her upcoming webinar on generational diversity, the ongoing need to understand the issue. Engine is a training consulting company that uh, I started with my business partner, Joa Boheni, in 2003. So we're just celebrating our 10th year in business this year. We have had the opportunity to work with over 175 companies and trained over 50,000 people globally. And we deliver training programs in five practice areas, sales and customer service, leadership, team building, Gen Y, and HR. And our unique positioning at Engine is that we have been focused for the last 10 years in understanding generational diversity and the ways in which organizations can maximize the skill sets of all four generations while managing the differences in order to drive greater performance and productivity from their teams. We focus on leadership capabilities, the ability to build more high-performing teams, collaboration, and then certainly from a more strategic standpoint, how can organizations and leaders look at all of their people practices in order to truly tap into what motivates and engages a multi-generational workforce. Really, generations are defined by two ways, both demography and sociology. So demographers look at the rise and fall of birth rates and determine when a generation begins and ends. And sociologists look at the life-defining events or the socio-historical events that happen during a generation's coming-of-age period. So when we look at traditionalists, they're between 87 and up, up to 91. So a lot of people would say, well, why would we still focus on that generation today? And there's lots of reasons, and I'll be exploring that in the webinar. And then we've got baby boomers, and they're between uh, 49 and 67. Uh, you've got your Gen Xers who are between 40, sorry, 30, 33 and 48. And then the youngest cohort, which are the Gen Ys, and they're between 13 and 32. So again, not a lot of our clients are hiring 13-year-olds, um, but many of our retail clients will be looking to bring them into their organizations in the next two or three years, certainly from a retail standpoint. Well, I think that's been an ongoing conversation, Michael, and certainly we've been in that space for 10 years, and so we've moved that conversation along. Initially, 10 years ago, uh, clients and organizations weren't even convinced there were four generations, and they said, well, if there are, maybe we're not all that different. But the reality is, is that, in fact, uh, organizations have moved the needle along, not just from understanding the generational identities or those age ranges, because that's less important, but more to what are they going to do about it. And the reason why organizations and leaders are still concerned with this issue and they want to tap into generational diversity is that they're recognizing, first and foremost, we all work in multi-generational teams. We can't avoid that any longer. Secondly, that each of the generations brings very different values and expectations to the workplace. And often there are clash points that are happening that are impacting the ability to have high-performing teams, to deliver business results, to have engaged employees. And so there's really much more of a business case now to, to address these issues. When we look at issues as it relates to turnover, uh, low employee engagement, as I mentioned, uh, perhaps you know, even recruitment challenges if the organization doesn't mirror the generational um, values that they're trying to recruit. So there's bigger strategic issues now than just sort of the flavor of the month uh, topic around can we understand differences. It's how we're going to really use this to make it a business lever and driver. So this webinar is going to set the context. Um, we have, of course, lots of research and content that people can access even after the webinar on our website. Um, but this is going to set the context. So not a lot of time describing the generations, but what we want to do is set it as it relates to why consider this. Why is there still a need to, to look at this issue 10 years later? And in some organizations are just scratching the surface today, just starting to begin to explore it. We're going to situate age as one element of diversity. And most importantly, at Engine, we take a behavioral model or behavioral approach. And what that means is that we can really look at um, the work and research that we've done from our first book as a model to use to better evaluate the organization. So I'll be speaking about that. We'll be looking at as it relates to engagement. So how can leaders and organizations drive better engagement from their multi-generational teams? And then we'll wrap that up with some leadership tips that are relevant for everyone, regardless of their level within an organization. <laughs>